It is 10 to 8 on this Monday morning. It is morning news today. Now, in today's digital world, technology is ever-changing and can be very daunting. Parents and teachers are at a loss sometimes to keep up with the lightning pace of new tech. I'm certainly one of them. A summer tech gathering called Think Camp is a space where children can have fun and learn how to craft tech concepts. To give us more insight, we're joined by Think Camp founder John Nyker this morning. John, good morning. And good thanks morning. for your time. Now, I must admit, when I saw this, I misunderstood and thought that that this is a camp for parents like myself to come and learn how to keep up with our kids. But it's for kids who have parents like me who know nothing and need to keep up with the tech world, if I've got that right. Absolutely. Okay, so I've got something. Tell us how it works. So it's a single day camp at the moment, uh, run in the holiday periods only. Mm. We take in between 16 and 24 kids at a time, and we work with what we feel are the most important tech skills. So we give them a really solid base in coding, app development, robotics, user interface design, all of the skills that really are influencing the world at the moment. So what age would, uh, would, would kids uh, be able to attend? From what age? We start as young as grade two, okay. and currently we work up to grade nine. To grade nine. Now, do they necessarily have to have some idea of tech? Would they have to have some skills already and some interest? To, to uh, attend the camp, some kind of tech, so, be tech so we, we, we have occasionally, surprisingly in this modern world, had uh, a child or two who, who doesn't know how to operate a mouse or a keyboard. Mm. But that's very uncommon. You find the children are so digitalized. They're playing on their iPads. They're yeah. opening up their parents' phones that from a very young age, they've got an idea of how to find their way around tech, but they haven't had the opportunity to really focus those skills. Mm. Okay, so... Like we said, this is for uh, kids who, who don't necessarily have people who are skilled enough around them to help them navigate this. So what do I, they I do? Wouldn't, I wouldn't say that. Oh, um, we, we have, uh, in, in fact, it's often parents with the knowledge and the skills that realize that this is so important uh, and so essential to really ground from a young age mm. that often bring their children to us just because what, what our work is is taking a, a really technical subject and breaking it down into bite-size fun chunks. So what would they be equipped to do after they've come to your camp? So that's a good question. We're not in the game of preparing people to go into industry. Obviously working with a grade two or a grade three, yeah. you're not expecting them to go out and design an incredible app. They just know how to crack the, the password on <laughs> mom and dad's phone. That's what they're going to know. <laughs> yeah. They probably know that already. Yeah. <laughs> but what we're doing is laying a foundation. So if you build a, a big building, you have to have a very solid foundation. And the earlier that foundation is laid, and the, the better that foundation is laid, the more success they have going going forward. And that doesn't mean that they have to be you know, streamlined into uh, a tech-focused job. You're finding that these sort of skills, whether it comes to finding your way around an Excel document, which you'd say maybe 50% of, yeah. of your high-skilled jobs entail, uh, all the way down to piloting a, a, a drone aircraft or something, all okay. the sort of future jobs are requiring some sort of grasp of technology. Is this a day-long camp? Do they spend days with you? How does it actually work? So we've started with day camps. It's the, the easiest uh, way to access uh, parents and children. It gives them a taste of what we do, and we are branching out into multi-day camps. So we're working with two- and three-day periods where we can really get a bit deeper, but that is something that will be coming in the next month or two. And what would they need to bring with them? Do they need to bring in their, their own equipment, their own devices? or do you provide all of that at the camp? We provide everything. So um, this little guy, for instance, what uh, is that? Cosmo, this is a, a little robot. He isn't on at the moment, okay. so he looks a bit, uh, a bit feeble. Yeah. Um, but when you switch him on, he comes alive, and that's just you one of the examples. You can switch him on if you want. Oh, we don't, I don't have the iPad oh, here, which, which links to yeah, okay, yeah, so okay. all sorts of paraphernalia. But when he comes alive, he, he, he's very exciting, and, and do visit our website to see what he does. But he is one of the examples of uh, the, the, the high-tech equipment that we use. Um, and looks can be deceiving. He's qu quite small and innocuous, but but is he like brain. a transformer? He just transformed into something else. Yeah, altogether. absolutely massive. Okay. Starts, you know, Often giving the kid no. <laughs> he he stays that size, yeah. but he's got he's got he's got a wonderful artificially intelligent personality that does some really awesome things. So on the equipment side of things, we provide everything. Okay. On our Android app development camps, we do encourage children to bring uh, an Android phone if they have one, because then they can actually download the app okay. and test it out on their own phone. Okay. So where does the camp happen? How do we find more information? costs involved all of that so everything is available on our website um, what is it? there's uh, that is thinkcamp 
www.co.za. That can be One word, eh? Think camp, camp. Okay. correct. Um, at the moment, we are in Gauteng only, so we work uh, in the south at Brescia House School, a wonderful okay, partnership cool. there, um, in the Santon area and down south at Parktown Girls. We're operating in both the public school and the three-term school holidays. Okay, great. So every holiday period, we have uh, a, a, a selection of camps available. And it's drop-off and go, and kids are safe? Safety? Of course they're safe. Of course what sort of a question safe. is that? Exactly. They are, yeah. <laughs> I'm just, you know, this is the world we live in now. We've got robots Absolutely. that can do things. No, no, yeah. it is very important. We, we do have good good security checks. Uh, we, we harness the school security to, to provide that infrastructure. And uh, parents are welcome to drop their kids off from 7.38 in the okay. morning. Okay. Yeah. Fantastic. And then they're your problem. Then all right, <laughs> wonderful. Hacking into all kinds of things. Thank you very much. And we will be uh, running camps this March. This March. This, this, starting. this coming Schools close on Friday. Next week, yeah. Know, yeah. Okay. All right. Well, good luck to you with all those little kids uh, equipped with devices. Very <laughs> brave. That's Think Camp founder John Nyker. If you want more, that's thinkcamp.co.za. That's the website if you want to get more information.